What is up, bro? Tato chips. Hope everybody's having a great day. Got another uh, little double header here today. Number eight VMI, eight and one on the season, hosting the seven and three South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Number one offense in the country versus the number seven offense in the country. Should be a pretty fun game. A lot of highlights in this one. And I'm going to close out my Discord so the stream does not lag at all. And we're about to get right up in this game. Alrighty. Shout out in the chat. Matt Blue, Project Crusade. How you doing? Don't forget to slap that like button. I appreciate you. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at these schedules right quick. South Dakota State started off a little rocky. I mean, they did beat Army 56-53. And then Navy had a running back over for over 500 rushing yards against them. And that, that was just rough. And then the Jackrabbits lost to Buffalo. They beat San Diego by a touchdown. Toreros, of course, having a rough season at 2-7. and seven. Beat Nickel State by a touchdown. And destroyed McNeese State, who is 0-9 on the season. Beat North Dakota State in a full broadcast subscriber versus subscriber matchup. Shout out, Tom Schaefer in the chat. How you doing? Let's see, they beat Tennessee Tech, lost to Southeast Missouri State, who was 3-5 on the season. So this defense has really had a lot of struggles this season. And, and their three losses, look at this, 63 points, 63 points, and 51 points allowed in their three losses. That's rough. Now, VMI is uh, <laughs> complete opposite. Their defense is just stacked. They are just fantastic. They beat Wyoming to start the season, beat Western Michigan by a point. And then they kind of got blown up a little bit by number one Cal Poly, 35-10. to 10, And they have not lost since. Look at these scores. Just thumping everybody leading up to this game. And we're going to take a quick look at the stat leaders for the teams here. Justin Hops returning off of injury. 20 touchdowns, 6 picks on the season. Blowing last year's numbers out of the water. And completion percentage is even up as well. And he will most likely beat his passing yard mark as well. He's not going to catch his touchdowns, I don't think, unless he just just goes off, just goes crazy in the next few games here for the key debts. But three fumbles this year. He had 12 last season, so he's definitely controlling the ball a little bit better here in his sophomore season. But Darius Johnson leads the team in rushing, 710 yards, eight touchdowns. Cam Sanders also has eight touchdowns on the ground. Jake Berry and Jay Baum are at the top right here for the receiving stats, both tight ends. Ten touchdowns for Barry, four for Jay Balmer, the true freshman. And, I mean, Jake Barry, 24 pancakes, one sack allowed. He, he's great in run blocking as well. It's just, he's a monster. Chris Gunn leads the team in tackles. He's a non-subscriber player. Henry Hamilton, 12 tackles for a loss. Tied with William Reed. Reed with 10 sacks on the season. He needs one more to get to 20 for his career. So hopefully we can see that here today. A little bit of a milestone. Trey Upton leads the Cadets in interceptions with three. He also leads the team in pass deflections. He's got 14 of them things. Four forced fumbles for Darius Peters, who is suspended for two more games. So that's going to be a big loss for the secondary at the free safety spot. Three fumbles recovered for Upton. And a bunch of touchdowns here. Gunn, Reed, Upton. Adams, all with a touchdown apiece. Adams, the Juco transfer strong safety, had a huge, huge pick six. Returned 70 yards. Evan Shaw, 9 of 13. Nothing crazy here. Shields with a kick return for a score. And Joseph Martin with one as well on the season. And Shields also has a punt return for a score. Let's take a look at South Dakota State. Tremaine Watson, the true freshman, he took over for Lamar Jackson, who was really struggling this season and he's done quite well for himself he does lead the nation in interceptions though with 14 
but 52%. It's a little bit better than the 46 that Lamar's had, and he won quarterback of the year last season, so definitely uh, a disappointing season for him. Chad Collins, true freshman halfback, the five-star talent. He's got almost 1,000 yards already. Daily Redding, he was injured for a few games. He's got 15 touchdowns, just beasting. Receiving, Reinhard Wendowski, very close to 1,000 yards receiving. 11 touchdowns. Jacob Coleman, true freshman, also playing fantastic football here for the Jackrabbits. Bunch of drops here, though. No worries, Tyler. You're right on time, buddy. Game hasn't even started yet. Chris Major leads the team in tackles with 61. He had 104 last year. Our only subscriber player to reach triple digits. And he's got a really good shot at getting it again. Eight sacks for Frank Theory. Five picks for a non-subscriber linebacker. There really hasn't been a whole lot of interceptions by this defense this season. Bunch of forced fumbles, though. But only four recovered. Defensive touchdown. Goku Lee is uh, out for this season, but the South Dakota State Jackrabbits get Mason Smith back. He was a force last season. Not just a halfback with 506 yards and eight touchdowns, but on defense, he had 73 tackles, four sacks, two picks, three forced fumbles, a fumble recovered. Uh, he had a scoop and score and a pick six, nine pass deflections, so he's going to be a huge help for the Jackrabbits defense. Now, let's get into the game, folks. Hope you guys are excited for this one. I know I am. Let's see here. You're going to go with the red and gold. And we'll go with the blue pants here for the Jacks. Whoops. All right. Let me know how the sound is. If the game sound is too loud or if I'm too loud. Because it's an easy adjustment for me. Just gotta mess around with a little couple couple few sliders here on OBS. Alright. Kidet's going to receive the opening kickoff. Let me switch real quick. Putting the controller down, and we are about to get into this ball game. Now, I do think the Kidet's are going to win this thing. The defense is just so good. And, I mean, their offense has been fantastic this year as well. Led by... Sophomore quarterback, Justin Hops. Sophomore halfback, Cam Sanders. Five-star freshman halfback, Ladarius Johnson. At fullback is Matt Keller. Two receivers, Joseph Martin and Jason Wright. And Jake Berry and Jay Balmer at the tight end spots for the Kedets. And for the Jackrabbits defense, we've got Frank Theory at defensive tackle. Jamar Hicks at corner. Uh, Three-star freshman corner Goku Lee is injured, done for the season. Chris Major at strong safety, and you'll also see Mason Smith at outside linebacker. And hopefully he can help this team out, but here's a nice run. Left side, great cutback up to the 40-yard line. That was Cam Sanders with a big-time run. Sanders almost 650 rushing yards on the season. Tied for first on the team with eight rushing touchdowns. Ladarius Johnson now in the backfield. He'll get a carry, and he is speedy. Up to midfield, Major on the tackle. That'll bring up second down and one for VMI. Triple option. Hops is going to have this one easily. And he is down around the 34-yard line. And he definitely knows how to use his legs. He is closing in on 1,600 career rushing yards. He's also got 17 touchdowns on the ground in his career. 
and is up to 650 rushing yards this season. First down and 10, Frank Theory meets Cam Sanders, and that play goes nowhere. Shout out, Jamar Washington in the chat, our Sports Illustrated cover. Appreciate you. Don't forget to hit that like button, buddy. Second down and 10, shotgun set for Hops. And they will go quarterback draw. Frank Theory blows that play up, though. My goodness, his 26th tackle for a loss this season. 46th for his career. Third down and 11, five wide receivers set for Hops. And he will try to throw it. Now he's going to take off right side. Hops has the speed. No, he doesn't. He's dragged down about a yard or two shy of the first down. That'll bring up fourth down and two now. Crowd wants him to go for it. And it looks like they're going to go for it, folks. Hunter and first in the nation on fourth down, just 37%. And they will go option. And Hops is dropped by Jamar Hicks for the loss. Huge stop for the Jackrabbit defense. That's his first tackle for a loss this season. And that was a huge one. Yeah, VMI is not very good at football in real life. <laughs> not surprising that Bowling Green would beat them by 41 points. Tremaine Watson under center for the Jackrabbits. And he's going to get hit as he throws. Finds his man. That's Jack Marks. And he'll pick up maybe five yards on the reception. Marks now with 18 receptions this season. He went over 1,000 yards for his career last game. Watson to throw again. And this time he's going to take off. He is not known for running the football a whole lot. He's got the first down there for the Jackrabbits. And let's take a look at the offense for South Dakota State. Lamar Jackson on the bench right now. You might see him, and he's actually right there in the shotgun set. Mason Smith to his right. You will see him from time to time. He does have a couple formations, and he will try to throw it here. Jackson pressured and sacked. That's Henry Hamilton, his eighth this season, 14th for his career. My goodness. That'll bring up second down and 16. Uh, Tremaine Watson, four-star quarterback, is the starting uh, quarterback. Tate Redding, four-star quarterback. Two freshmen, he is on the bench. He's only thrown one pass in his career so far. And three-star quarterback, Jalen Evans. He is in on goal line sets. Nice deflection by Mike Adams, the junior safety. And that is his sixth pass deflection this year. That'll bring up uh, third down and 16. At halfback for the Jacks, Daly Redding, Mason Smith, and five-star freshman Chad Collins. Here's a five-wide receiver set for Watson. Third and 16. And he goes deep down the field. Reinhardt and Wendowski is there, and he's got it. Breaks a tackle down at the 13-yard line. And big play, Erwin Dowski with a huge catch and run. His 32nd catch this season, and he is so close. To a thousand yards receiving on the year. Just great catch, great power after the catch as well. At receiver for the Jacks, we just saw him, Reinhardt Romandowski, number seven. Jack Marks, number 19, and four star freshman Jacob Komen, number 14. At tight end, Brahms North and Dayton Down. Offensive line is Chad Filler. True freshman Jake Seahorn, Dan DeBeers, and at center is Gray North, and there is a touchdown for Daly Redding. That's his 16th this season, 39th for his career, and he just went over 2,700 rushing yards for his career. What a drive by <laughs> South Dakota State. Boy, oh boy. This is going to be a really fun game, folks. Strap yourselves in. It's 7 0. Sixth place, 71 yard drive for South Dakota State. Just too easy. Didn't even get a chance to go over the VMI defense.
Yeah, didn't Bowling Green only win like maybe two games this season or something? Or was that last year? I know they had a really bad year recently. And on to return it is nobody because that kick is nine yards deep. And Shields will kneel it down for the touchback. Crowd not happy right now. Heavy favorites in this game. Both halfbacks in the shotgun here with hops. And he will throw it. And left side dropped by Joseph Martin. In the Discord pick him. VMI had 19 votes. South Dakota State only received four votes. So the Cadets. Huge, huge favorites here at home. Just two and three in subscriber games. South Dakota State is three and one, and Hops is sacked. Boy, oh boy, LeFew gets the sack, his first of the day. South Dakota State <laughs> coming out firing on all cylinders. Another third and long here for VMI. It's third and 15. Can you smell that upset? Can you smell it? 115th ranked defense in the nation holding strong right now against number 8 VMI. Hops to throw it. Pressured immediately and sacked again. I believe that's the third time he's been sacked already today. Wow. That's going to bring up fourth down and 22. Non-subscriber defensive end just slammed him right off the edge. This is not how I expected this game to go. And they will punt it away. Jamar Hicks back to return from his own 47-yard line up the right sideline. Hicks pushed out of bounds at the 36. Great return for Jamar Hicks. He does have six punt returns for a touchdown in his career. Three last season and three this year. And this is number 15. Tate Redding going to throw a pass. And it is dropped by Brahms North. Before we don't have any time, let's go over the Cadets defense. Henry Hamilton at defensive tackle, number 61. Number 93, William Reed at defensive end. Five-star freshman, Javon Stewart, number 94 at defensive end. Middle linebacker, Trey Upton, number 32. And here's Redding again to throw. And he's almost picked off. I'm not sure why Redding is in there two plays in a row. Did we miss an injury from Tremaine Watson? At corner, Bryson Shields, number 29. Free safety, Darius Peters, number 20, is suspended for two more games. And four-star junior Juco transfer, Mike Adams, number 31, at strong safety. And here is Tremaine Watson, going to throw a deep right side. Has a man that's caught by Dayton Down, the freshman tight end, inside the 15-yard line. And that was just way too easy. Just his sixth catch on the season so far. Shotgun set. Lamar Jackson is in there. He's going to throw it left side. Wide open is Chad Collins, the true freshman halfback. And that is his first career receiving touchdown on his 11th reception. He was wide open. Got nine total touchdowns on the season now. And South Dakota State is rolling here in the first quarter. Man, oh man. Definitely not what I expected. Extra point is up and good for South Dakota State. Forty seconds left in the first quarter. VMI. This is kind of a head scratcher for them right now. 
course, South Dakota State is no slouch of a team, but that defense, 115th in the country? Are you kidding me? you got to be able to put up points against that. If South Dakota State had just a top 50 defense, they would be undefeated right now. And another deep kick to Shields. And he'll kneel this one down as well. Kicker's got a boot. Hops trying to get his team on the board. 39 seconds left here in the first quarter. Came Sanders behind Hops. And they will hand it off. Sanders is dropped for no gain. My goodness. They just cannot get anything working the way they want it to. And you guys will be glad to know that I actually brought drinks today for the streams. I won't be losing my voice. Here's a triple option. Hops in the open field. Here we go. Nice play by the quarterback. And Hicks brings him down by the face mask. That is exactly what VMI needed. Big play, move the chains, and get close to midfield. Head coach Jim Langer, a little upset. I don't know why, you're up by two touchdowns, relax. And they'll possibly get one more playoff here before the first quarter's over. Here's Hops again on the option, and another first down for the VMI Key Debts. Great way to end the first quarter for them. They desperately needed some momentum. And moving the chains twice is exactly what they needed to do. At South Dakota State's 46-yard line, hops under center. Two tight ends set. And they'll keep it on the ground. Cam Sanders picks up four yards. It's over 2,200 rushing yards in his career now with that carry. I formation, Hops is going to go option, and he takes off. He's got another first down, so that's three times this drive. He has moved the chains with his legs. And if you're VMI, that's, you just got to keep doing it. Hops is so dangerous with his legs. And South Dakota State really does not have any type of run defense whatsoever first and 10 from the 35 yard line single back set and they will hand it off and that's cam sanders and he'll be dropped by jamar hicks after a three yard carry stay tuned after this game folks we'll be having our second game of our doubleheader number four savannah state travels to take on the third ranked william and mary tribe in a monumental acc matchup Option play again here for Hops, and another first down. Uh-oh, he pitches it out, and it is recovered by Jason Wright, I believe. No, that was Jake Barry, the tight end. Very dangerous pitch by Justin Hops. Not sure why he actually pitched that. First and 10, Hops, another option. And Hops will pitch it out this time again, and Sanders holds on to it. And that is a seven-yard run. Brown game starting to click here for VMI. Eight plays, 66-yard drive so far, 220 off the clock. Hops to throw it now. Got 20 touchdown passes this season. That one's almost picked off by Reinhard Romandowski out there playing some safety. Dangerous throw intended for uh, freshman tight end Jay Ballmer, who was on the John Mackey Award watch list. Not bad. He got second in the land on third downs. It's third and three. Goal line set. And there we go. Option again. Hobbs has it again. I'm pretty sure every first down has been with his legs on this drive. And 
and he is up to 65 yards rushing. First and goal, I formation again, Ladarius Johnson behind Matt Keller. And they'll keep it in the option. Hops, fumbles it again, recovered by Matt Keller. That's Hop's second fumble today. He's got five on the season now. 17 for his career in two seasons. That's a little rough. Jake Berry is on fire to the right. Hops hands it off to Ladarius Johnson, and he is dropped. No gain for the freshman halfback. Club plays 72 yard drive, three and a half minutes off the clock right now. Third and goal, five wide receivers. Hops to throw, hit as he throws, finds his tight end, Jake Berry. Oh boy, that is his 11th touchdown catch this season. And 19th for his career. My goodness, what a drive from Justin Hops, the sophomore quarterback. 21st touchdown pass this season, 39th of his career. He's just having an outrageous season. BMI gets on the scoreboard, it's 14 to seven as they close the gap with a 78 yard drive. Fantastic drive, you'll love to see it. Back to return is Jamar Hicks and Daly Redding, I believe. Shaw's kick is deep to the goal line. And this is Daly Redding. And he'll be dropped at the 18 yard line, but there's a flag for Clippin. And that'll back him up to their own nine yard line. A little bit more momentum here for VMI after that play. Looks like Lamar Jackson's going to be in at quarterback here for the Jacks on this play. Mason Smith at halfback to his right. Great to see him back on the field. He's been out most of the year with an injury. Jackson to throw. Deep shot. Erwin Dowski's there, and it's overthrown. Just a bit overthrown for Erwandowski. That could have been a huge play. And Jackson is in at quarterback still here for the Jacks. Chad Collins, five-star freshman halfback to the right of Jackson. He'll go quarterback draw. Jackson somehow gets the first down, picks up 13 yards up the gut. Great run. Jackson has almost 300 rushing yards this season. That run did get him over 1,300 for his career, though. Tate Redding in the game again. And the lefty will throw it. And he's almost picked off again. I don't know why they keep doing these short little routes to the right with him. But the uh, younger brother of sophomore halfback Daly Redding not having a good time so far today. And he's still in there at, ha or at quarterback. His brother to his left. And he'll try to throw it again over the middle. Deflected away again. And I don't think he has a single completion yet in his career. I think that's his fourth incomplete pass today. That makes him 0 for 5 in his career. And he's still in here. Not sure what the, uh, the computer's doing with the quarterbacks right now. Kind of bizarre. Third down and ten for the Jacks. Redding to throw. Off his back foot, wide open. That's Brahms North, and that's a first down and more as he runs a man smooth over. 14-yard catch for Brahms. That's his 13th catch this season. And Tate Redding has his first career completion. 
Noah rooting for a VMI. Okay. Okay. I like it. Tate Redding still in at quarterback. This is so bizarre. And he's going to throw it right side. Has another completion. That is Jack Marks. And he's going to move the chains again here for South Dakota State. Marks now with 19 catches on the season. Lamar Jackson in at quarterback now. The starter, Tremaine Watson, is nowhere to be seen. And Jackson left side has his man. That's Daly Redding. Breaks the tackle. Still going inside the 35-yard line. And tack on 15 for the face mask. Yo, what's going on, Rocky? Good to see you, buddy. No! No! You've got to be kidding me. Wow. It did it again, folks. That is unfortunate. And we can hear, still hear the crowd right now. Oh, boy. Feels bad. Give me a moment here, folks. 